Last time we started to discuss the node voltage methods. Uh, we discuss uh, one example. The following example we leave to a synchronized session. This is example two. Example two. Example two. Example three. Example three. Exercise. Uh, okay, and let's um, start from here. The steps of a node voltage methods. Step one, define a common ground. Step two, look at T junction, assume dummy parameter or dummy voltage at T junction. Step three, write equations according to Kirchhoff current law to describe uh, current relationship. Step five, solve equations to find the values of dummy voltage. Step five, work out the required par parameters such as current or, or power. The next uh, method I uh, introduce is a uh, mesh current method. Mesh current method uh, this is a technique to find um, imagine current. Imagine current that means uh, this is a virtue. The, that, that type of current doesn't really exist. Circulating uh, around a loop or a mesh in any closed loop of a circuit. Again, I use uh, one example to introduce uh, this uh, method. Like uh, this uh, example, uh, we this this is one example uh, how can we can make use of um, mesh method to uh, analyze this uh, circuit. Right. To find out uh, our objective is to find out current through ten O uh, is a uh, current here. What is a current here? That that is uh, your task. Uh, step one. Assume mesh current IA, IB around two inner loops. Uh, you assume you have a current like this. Circle around, this is IA. Have another current, circle around, this is IB. I have two, two uh, you imagine you have a two current circle around. Uh, note sec uh, uh, second step, note the current through 10 ohm resistor is IA minus 1B. Uh, you assume you have a current go this way, this current will go up, uh, this current go down. Therefore, the current on this uh, resistor, actual current is IA minus IB. That is uh, a current through this uh, 10 ohm resistor. Three, write equations according to Kirchhoff voltage law to describe voltage relationship. Uh, we uh, back this uh, diagram. We know this is a current there. Uh, this uh, current IA, you times five O, that is uh, a voltage drop from this side to that side. That is a five I A, right? That is five I. Now, if we consider the potential drop there, that is a ten ohm. The actual current is I A minus I B, right? I have a two currents. So this uh, side is a uh, ten times. I A minus I B. So that is a potential here. So those uh, two potentials you add together should equal this side. So that we have uh, one equation that is five I A plus this equals 10, equals 10. So that is the first equation. Look at this side. It's a five IA plus 10 IA minus IB 
equals 10. So that is the first equation. Now let's consider a second loop. The second loop, second loop, here is 50. That is 50. Uh, depend on how you can, um, if we consider the potential, if I consider potential in this way, that way, I consider potential in this way, because here is a plus minus. So uh, this side also, I consider this is a plus, that is a minus. So because this uh, current, that current is opposite. So that current through this uh, resistor, I consider this is a minus IB. And then you times 20, that is a potential from here to there. I assume this is a plus, this is a minus. Right. Again, this current assumption is go this way, but now we consider it's opposite so that you have a minus sign. Now let's uh, consider here. Here is the uh, same as before. That is uh, 10 times IA minus IB. That, that is the same because, because this uh, direction is the same. So now this side is 50. That side is a minus IB times 20 plus this. So now if I add those two together, I add those two together that equal this. So now we can have a second equation. So that is uh, minus 20 IB is here, plus 10 IB, IA minus IB. And that is a second element equal 50, equal 50. So now we have uh, two equations to describe this, uh, this uh, circuit. Uh, we have, uh, because we have two unknowns. One is uh, IA, one is IB. Now the rest is uh, to solve. What, what is IA, what is IB? Uh, but solve those uh, two equations, uh, you can find out IA equals minus, 0.571 and IB equals minus 1.857. Now, <laughs> if we go back to here, if IA, IB both negative, what does this mean if both are active? Now, both are active means the actual current circle this way, rather than that way. It's the uh, same for this side, the current actually circle in this way, rather than this way. So that that's, uh, is what uh, manners mean. This is obvious because here you have a high voltage 50 and here this side is a 10. So obviously current would go this way, current even go that way. Right. Right. Um, now, look, our task is to find out what is uh, the current through 10 ohm resistor. Uh, back to this page. The current through this uh, resistor is uh, IA minus IB. Uh, we have already worked out what is IA, what is IB. So we take uh, those two values. Uh, to um, to IA IB replaced by those two figures, we can work out this is a one point two eight six R. So this is a, a positive. That means the current actually go this way. Yeah? That is a positive. Thing. All right. The following is a exercise. Uh, example two, we leave to synchronize the session. It's example two, example two exercise we don't do uh, here. I like to emphasize here. Uh, it is more complicated to use a mesh current method than node voltage method. Always you need one more equations if you use a mesh method than node voltage method. 
If you can analyze a circuit by mesh current method, you can certainly analyze a circuit by node voltage method. This is why I um, uh, recommend you use a node voltage method rather than current uh, mesh current method. I, I don't like that method. Okay. I'd like to stop here. We uh, discuss uh, source transform uh, transformation next time.